Twitter can be a toxic place for a whole mess of reasons. I mean, you got politics, you got the fact that it's just an outrage generator, but even sports on Twitter can just be nasty sometimes. Yet Twitter is also a place where sports can help build community, help fans get through losing season after losing season in playoff droughts. And here on opening day, Rockies fans are using social media to remember a friend they knew online by rallying around his family. I think it says the most about someone like him that so few of us actually met him in person and interacted with him and we're still so crushed over losing him. If you've never been a part of an online family, it's hard to explain how losing someone you've only spoken with 280 characters at a time can feel so personal. When you're a fan and you connect with fans who are like you, um, there's, there's something that transcends just a general friendship. Tyler Mon and Ryan Bloom never interacted in the real world, but when Mon found out that a guy who's been along for the ride since his Rockies podcast started passed away, the loss hit hard. He just was, he was so smart and he was so funny, and he was just a combination of all of the stuff that we love about it. Their last 280 character conversation was about a meme Bloom created. Someone else in their Twitter family said Mon should turn it into a shirt. And Ryan responded to that tweet and said, you can absolutely have this design in, in exchange for one extra large. When he sent the final product to Bloom, Mon expected a response. The silence was deafening. Somebody who was so full of life uh, in every way that, you know, could be conveyed across the, the weird chasm of social media. Um, and then all of a sudden to just see that silence um, was so shocking. Before Bloom passed away, the plan was to sell a handful of shirts to their online family. Now, Bloom's last gift to Rocky's Twitter is paying it forward to the real life family he left behind. Everything that we make from this shirt is gonna go to Ryan's family. We're less than a week removed and we're closing in on $3,000 uh, raised for his family. Their interactions were only 280 characters at a time, but now the impact of those words is easy to see. For next, I'm Brian Wendland. The voice and pictures of our Brian Wendland there. This article on 9news.com explains how folks can still help Brian's family.